Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in again. In today's video, we are going to be checking out this dash cam from Viofo A19 Mini 2. It's got the Sony Starvis 2 sensor. It comes with Wi-Fi, voice recognition, or voice control, all the good stuff that you want in a dash cam. And they sent one out, said give it a try, show you guys how to install it, and just give my overall thoughts. It's not a paid sponsorship. They did send it out for free, but they didn't pay me to tell you guys that it's good. So it'll be an honest review. I'm just going to show you how to set it up and do all that in this video. And we'll cruise around once it's hooked up, just so you guys get a little bit of footage as well. And what else they sent with it is this little polarizing lens filter. And what that does is clips onto the camera of the actual dash cam itself. And just helps with window glare. And this has a pretty good camera to pick up night mode as well so when you're driving around at night it'll pick up pretty well and just this thing will help with like glare on the bright led lights and stuff that vehicles come with now just so you don't have a big ball of fire in your eyes this kind of helps even it out gives you a nice picture not only at night but as well on the nice sunny days like we're sitting in right now so they sent that out it also came with a mini SD, so you can save your video. That came with it. And then they also sent me this hardwire kit. We're not going to do that in this video. It'll be separate. I do need a couple things to actually hardwire this to the truck that I'm driving. So that will be a separate video. If you want to see that, you can go and check that out. But they do sell this if you want to hardwire it yourself. Because this does have the motion and bump detection, so if you have your car hardwired in that stuff will work and then if someone happens to walk by your car or they bump it or whatever happens the camera will be able to record that and capture it whereas if you just have it plugged into the ac adapter or the 12 volt here i mean when you unplug it the camera's off it's not getting any power it's not going to record so i do recommend picking this up and if you want to see how this is installed after you see this video if you think you like the camera like I said, go check out my channel. It'll be on there in a couple days. I just got to get a couple parts and I will show you how to do that. All right, so you open up the box and what you get right on top is your camera. Now this is it. It's the mini version and it is definitely mini. Take the little wrapper out of the way. This is your camera. It's got a few buttons on the bottom. Like I said, this is voice activated as well. So you don't necessarily have to use the buttons. But to do some of the settings and stuff like that, which I'll show you once it's on, that's where everything is. You can see how wide it is. Not very wide, maybe inch and a half, two inches, maybe two and a half, three tall. And then it does come with a GPS module on the back, which is one of the good things that I've noticed on this camera already. If you get that, this camera actually comes off of here. You slide this one way, just like so. And you can see that pops off. So if you were to get another one of these and have it up on your window in a different vehicle, you can just leave that little piece hardwired into your car and you can actually bring the camera from vehicle to vehicle. So you don't have to buy a whole new set. You could just buy the GPS module and a hardwire kit. And you could actually just use one camera for multiple vehicles if you have maybe two, three different cars you drive. Like you can just unplug it, plug it into the next one, and that's just how easy it gets. And then coming down to the other side is your actual camera. I'm not gonna bother taking the plastic off the lens quite yet until we get this up on the window, but that is your camera and it can be adjusted up and down. You can see it clicks. So once you have that up on your window, it's snug enough not to move around on bumps, but it's not snug enough that you can't easily adjust it. And you can hear there's multiple clicks in there. So depending how much of an angle this is on, once you get it centered on your windshield where you like it, you can adjust the camera and you should be all set. And now once you move the foam piece there that was holding the camera, it just gives you a little bit of stuff, tells you to read this before you install it. You guys don't have to worry about that because if you're re-watching this video, chances are you want to see how this is installed. Now you get two of these little plastic sheets as well. What this is, is you can actually peel this off. It's kind of like a screen protector material and you can put it on your windshield. It just sticks on there. And then the camera itself 
sticks onto this so you don't have to put it directly onto your windshield. I am probably not going to be using this. I'll put it right onto the window. But depending, like right now we are super hot outside. Not exactly sure how well these things will stick on, especially with the weight of the camera on there. So they may peel off. So for my own self, I'm just going to put it on the window. It's not going to hurt anything. But if you happen to be somewhere or drive a vehicle where you have tint on the windshield, I recommend using this because this will peel off a lot easier than the double-sided tape that will hold the actual camera on. So if you put that on a window that may have tint, chances are if you want to peel it off and you pull too hard, it's going to take the tint with it or make it discolored. So it is an option at least if you want to go that route, that's what these are for. Then you just get your warranty. You can register the camera just like everything else nowadays. And then once we dig deeper into the box here, you have a user manual that will give you all of your voice commands and everything in there and a quick setup guide and all that stuff. You come down here, they give you another sticky two-sided tape in case you want to use this somewhere else or if you happen to bugger it up and you wreck the double-sided tape, you can at least have a spare. And then down here, USB, that is if you want to plug in the camera to your computer. You can go directly to transfer the files from the camera to whatever you have this plugged into. Other options for that, you can download it straight to your phone or the micro SD, you can pull out, plug into the adapter, plug it in your computer and get the video off that way. And then last but not least for this part is your plug. This is just the 12 volt. You can see it'll plug into the socket right here. That's what we're going to be using today just to show you guys how it is. So we'll use that and then if you're hardwiring your kit they do give you a pry tool even it's nice and sturdy it's not some cheap thing it'll easily get any plastic trim off that you need to adjust or move out of your way to hide wires and stuff like that so once we do the hardwire kit that will definitely come in handy but for now we will get the camera started we'll get it up on the window and see how she works all right, so before you turn this camera on or power it up in any way, you want to get your micro SD card in there. Just goes in the right hand side. You got two spaces, your USB-C and your micro SD. They are labeled. The prongs go towards the screen on the front of the camera. Just line it up there, push it until you hear the click. Just like that, she's in. All right, here it is. This is just the lens. It did have a protective plastic piece on the inside of the glass as well as the outside. I peeled the inside off as well as the one on the camera. Leave the outside one on just so you can give it a little push without getting your fingerprints all over it. And basically all you want to do is come down here and it will click right over your film or your lens like so. All right, it took me two hands to get it on there, but now once it started, just push it till you hear that click, you're good to go. And now of course, don't forget to peel your plastic off the other side. And now we are ready to finally power it up. All right, so we got her plugged in. And as you can see, you get a ton of length on this cable if you're going to be using your 12 volt plug like we are going to be in the demonstration right now. For this specific one, because we do have the GPS module, the power plugs into the actual module itself. If you do not have that part, it will plug right there in the side. All right, so it's plugged in. You can see the power button's on. She fires up nice Recording. and quick. Start it. And it's already Memory saying, card error. Please format the card. do we want to, you can hear it talking. It tells you exactly what to do. Yes, we do want to format the card. Please wait. Memory card format, successful. All right, so once you got it plugged into your 12 volt there, plugged in here, it'll fire up. It will tell you everything to do. It even talks to you. It walks you right through it. So I won't bore you with that in this video. So next thing we need is to actually set this thing up on your window. And now what you want to do is find somewhere where it's not going to be in your way and distracting you. Most people, and where I'm going to put it, is on this side, just beside this box. Now this does have some radar features and stuff in this vehicle. So you want to make sure if you have a vehicle like this one, with a bunch of stuff up in here, you're not blocking any of that because that is actually some of your safety features. So we're gonna put it beside the window. Then when you're up here, it's kinda out of sight, out of mind. And 
you can run the cable down and along for when you want to hardwire this thing in. It's just in a good spot to begin with. Try to avoid the spots that have these black dots. It's hard to stick stuff to you. More likely the camera's going to fall off your window when you have it hooked onto something like that. So again, that side of the window is clear, doesn't have anything like that. It will just stick better and last longer. All right, so we have this thing set up here now. It's wired on. I just have it plugged in like this for now for demonstration purposes. One thing I forgot to mention is make sure you clean your windshield really well before you try to stick that double-sided tape on and it'll just help you out. It'll stick longer, last longer, won't fall off when you're driving around. And secondly, put your wipers on like so and make sure the camera portion of this thing is actually pointing where the wipers hit because if you're driving say in the winter or some are really dirty and you're covered in dirt everybody knows how you get the big where everywhere the wipers don't hit gets filthy and you don't want your camera to be pointing at that because then if you need to actually use the footage from this thing for some reason it is going to be useless because you're just going to be staring at a big dirty window and you won't actually be able to see what's in front of you so keep in mind hit your wipers hit your washer fluid do whatever you got to do just make sure that that camera is actually pointing somewhere where the windshield will stay relatively clean. All right, so here is the first little driving and audio test. You can get a video. Now keep in mind, these are all the default settings. I haven't touched any of that. I just plugged the camera in, stuck it to the window, and away we went. So you can mess around with that. It's all in the settings. It's very straightforward. I might make another video showing what's what. If you want to see that, just let me know in the comments. But as for now, we'll just do a couple of blocks here to show you guys some of the detail and what the camera can pick up and what it cannot. And then after this, we will wait for the sun to go down and I will do the same so you can see how it operates in the dark and how well it works. And then you guys can decide for yourselves if you want to pick one of these up for your own vehicle. All right, so here we are during the night. Again, this is all the default settings. Audio test, video test, so you guys can see exactly what you're gonna get if you're filming during the night. And unfortunately, it is pretty late. 
So I'm not sure how many vehicles we'll see. There will obviously be a few, but whether this thing will pick up specific model of the vehicle or license plate in the dark, that's another question. So we'll see once we get this footage all edited and onto YouTube for you guys. But at least for now, with the street lights and everything here, you can see exactly what you're gonna get during the night. out a big line of policemen there today so somebody's getting ready for a roadblock this is a Friday night one o'clock in the morning fortunately I work shift work so I'm on the way to work but for anybody who's cruising home thinking that they're gonna drink and drive if they're coming this way are definitely gonna have a wake-up call in a few minutes all right so here we are highway speeds just a little over 100 kilometers an hour and you guys can see now if the camera can hold up to extra wind noise and stuff. We'll see if the audio is still there or if it's muffled by the extra wind noise and all that while cruising at this speed. 